Go Ellsworth, brought to you by these proud community sponsors, Anita Hoffines. Dr. Mark Herzog. Hi, this is Carol Kratzer with the Ellsworth Canopolis Area Chamber of Commerce, and welcome back to our Did You Know segment. And we Ask, thank Eagle very much for these segments. They do them for us every month, and this is great. And um, this month we are with Mosaic, and we were with their executive director, Julie Cramp. Good morning, Julie. Hi, Carol. And we've done a couple with Mosaic. We've done some job interviews with Mosaic. We've done some talking about some of the things they do. But today we're talking about the clients, and so we're talking about your mission, which covers three things. It covers meaningful life, caring community, and giving a voice. And so today you will see some of the clients that fall under those areas of what it means to be a client at Mosaic and what you as a community member could get involved with. So thanks for having me. Oh, we're so grateful for this opportunity. Um, so tell us a little bit what each of these missions means. What's meaningful life? <clears throat> well. Our, our mission statement is embracing God's call to serve in the world. Mosaic advocates for individuals with disabilities and provides opportunities for them to enjoy a full life. So each of those areas represents a portion of a full life, um, meaningful life. Um, what adds meaning to everyone's lives? What are those things that we want to do uh, as any individual uh, that brings a certain depth of meaning to our life? Uh, the caring community. Uh, Ellsworth is an amazing caring community that supports and has supported Mosaic since its inception and the people that we serve and then giving a voice so that um, the people that we serve have the same rights as everyone else in the community and, and that's what we are here at Mosaic to do. And that's all anyone wants. Exactly. So we're not asking for any more or any less that any person would want. Exactly. Great. And this morning we're going to be visiting um, one of your clients, Matthew Brickeye, mm -hmm. at the Ellsworth Junior Senior High School, where he has an amazing job that he loves. You want to tell us a little bit about Matthew? Sure. Uh, Matthew came here kind of as an emergency placement uh, with very few belongings to his name. And at first, um, the word was that this probably wouldn't last. And he's been here for more than 10 years. And each year has brought part of the fullness of life to his experience. He has experienced great friendships and he's experienced great losses in those friendships. We've had people pass. Um, he's experienced growth in his um, personal endeavors and this job is just a huge part of that. Um, he loves what he does. He loves working at the school and it is the most energizing thing I've seen. Everyone should have Matthew's um, attitude towards work because he wants to go every day and he comes back just energized by what he does at work, who he gets to meet with. He's there early. Um, <clears throat> he wants to do more than just what's you know accepted, but he'll go the extra mile. He interacts with uh, the students, he interacts with his um, supervisors, and he is joyful about it. Wonderful. Matthew, what you doing? I'm cleaning the water fountain. Is this one of your jobs here at the high school? Yes, it is. Oh, do you have a minute when you're done to tell me about your job? So what, what other things do you do? I, well, I help on the snack bar. And how do you do that? Um, give the, uh, the students whatever they want off the snack bar. Oh, that's a fun job. Yeah. What else do you do? I uh, sweep them off the... Uh, in back there you know, in the kitchen area. And what does this job mean to you? I like it. You like it? Yes, I do. And does it help your, your life? Yes. How does it help your life? Uh, pay, pay expenses. So you get to do things out in the community? Yes. Like go to church and go to basketball games. 
And what did you do before you had this job? Work for worked at Mosaic in the at the Bowen Alley. So which one do you like better? The high school. <laughs> and this one's year round or is this just during school? Uh dur during school, but they they lose the um reinstate your contract. So you get to do it all the time? Yeah. Would you want to do anything else? No. Do you have any dreams about stuff you want to do? Just this one for right now. Wonderful. Thank you, Matthew, and you can get back to work. Okay, thank you. Hey, Matthew. Hey, Pat. How you doing? What's up, hey, man? Dan. What are you doing? I'm doing the water pack. All right, we're here now with um, Thomas and Tanya Wilkinson, and they are local people who partake with Mosaic. And Thomas is going to tell us a little bit about his story, and then we're going to talk to his mom about what this means and what this meaningful community is all about. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning. How are you? Good. This is kind of exciting being on TV, huh? Yeah, I've never been on TV before. <laughs> well, we'll have to save it so you can look at it all the time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how long have you been with Mosaic? I've been, I've been with uh, Mosaic for eight years. And what does it mean to you to be part of Mosaic's family? It means that that we um, we're we're there for for each other when when uh, when it gets when it gets tough. Yeah, and that's important, isn't it? Very important. What's your favorite thing about Mosaic? Is that um, there's there's uh, there's a lot of people involved in the in this there's not just one person to to um to do all the the things that mosaic provides so what are some of the things you do at mosaic uh i i do uh custodial work like i'll do the bathrooms or um I may have me do more than one, more than one thing. Mm -hmm. You cook. Cook. Do you do popcorn on Friday at the bank sometimes? Mm-hmm. And I like it. I like it a lot. You get out to see the community. What are some of the fun things you do with Comet Mosaic? Um, I go to bowling alley. And um, I go to go to dances and um. Special Olympics. Special Olympics. What's your event in Special Olympics? Basketball. Ooh, good job. Mom, what has this meant to you to have Thomas in this kind of a commu caring community? I think it's good um, that he um, is out in a small community because then he's involved with the community. Um, he um, is included in activities in the community and and gets to know people. He's not isolated in one spot. He's exposed to a lot of the environment. What does this do for his quality of life? I think it's great. It gives him experience to um, meet new people and experience new jobs and be out in the community and, and with Mosaic. And they, they try to provide that for him so he's, he's out and about in the community. And how has that helped you as a mom who worries about their kids all the time? Well, it, it helps me to know that he's being accepted in the community and not because of his disability, you know, outcast. And he's included in the whole community. He's not just, he, you know, everybody knows Thomas. And that's what we want for all our kids. Mm -hmm. And that's the great thing about Mosaic. Anything else you want to share that, that we don't know about Thomas and how wonderful he is? He's just a great kid. Wouldn't trade him. He's awesome. Anything you want to say, Thomas? Um, that, that, oh. You can hold it. <laughs> that, that I, that I, um, that I have such a great mom that, that, that cares for me and is supportive and, and, uh, and that she, that she, uh, takes good care of me. She's a good mom. <laughs> well, thank you both so much for sharing your family, your love of this um, 
organization and information. Thanks so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Here now with Bert and Sue Buchanan. Good morning, Bert. Good morning. Good morning, Sue. <laughs> and Sue is one of the clients here at Mosaic, oh. and we're going to talk about giving our clients a voice. And Bert, thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. Bert and Sue are from Little River, so she had a bit of a ways to come this morning to be with us, and we appreciate that. So tell us what. Um, Mosaic means to you as Sue's mom? Well, as Sue's mom, I don't know what I'd do without Mosaic. Sue has been here, what, 20 some years. It was uh, Bethagy years ago. And uh, we just needed a place uh, like this for Sue. And this is definitely Sue's home. And Sue lives in the North Apartments? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so. She's down here, she comes to the day site every day. Every day. So she has a place to go mm -hmm. and people to be around and mm -hmm. people to take care of her. Mm -hmm. And that has to be a great... Yes, yeah, what a blessing it is to, to have Sue uh, in this. And this is just homes to Sue. Right, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. not, it's not yeah. an organization, no. it's not an institution. No, it's, it's what she, she does every yeah, day. It's her day. life. It's, it's her home. And mm -hmm. she goes around the neighborhood because she comes and visits me quite often <laughs> at the chamber. And I just love it. Yes. Huh, Sue? <laughs> and when you see her on the street, she smiles and she gives you a high five and she's oh, just a wonderful person to be around. We had a fellow from Little River up here to a football game. And he comes and said, I saw Sue at the football game last night. And I said, oh yeah, Sue gets around. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we yeah. had the yeah. Harlem ambassadors here, and she went to the basketball game too. So mm -hmm. that was, you know, oh, fun, fun, fun. Yeah. yeah. But she's at all our events, so that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. She's really included in the in the community, and that's good. And and Sue loves to be out. She loves to meet people. So uh, uh, we're just thrilled that she's here and and has such wonderful care. And uh, we used to take Sue home for a visit, but we just don't do that anymore since her dad passed away and uh, her brothers don't live close. But uh, at Christmas time, we try to all get together over at North Home in the basement and have Christmas with Sue. And that's just one of the many things that happens here at Mosaic. Tell me some of the few things that you really think are exciting that happen here for Sue. Oh my goodness. Uh, of course, being outside in the community and uh, Sue loves her church, she loves God, mm -hmm. and she loves to sing music like we did this morning. And so I'm so thankful that uh, Mosaic takes the time to get Sue dressed and to go to church and Sunday school every, every Sunday. And, uh, the Christmas programs that we have here, and uh, you just everything about Mosaic is just great. Because it really is her home. It is, it is. And it's like it's you and I at our home. Mm -hmm. She gets up every day, she has mm -hmm. stuff to do, mm -hmm. she has places to go, she has people to see, mm -hmm. and you know. And she is kind of fussy about her food, I hear, but, uh, but they're real good to, to fix her what she likes, and, uh, and what she doesn't like, they don't impress on her. They just let her eat what she likes. Well, that's... Yeah, and Sue gets to call home every Monday night, and I know on Monday nights I, I better be right at the mm -hmm. phone because mm -hmm. she's ready there to talk to me, aren't you, Sue? You talk to me on the phone every Monday night, yeah, and let you, lets me know what she's doing every all week long. Yeah. Wonderful. Anything else you'd like to share about Mosaic that you'd like people to know? Oh, uh, I, I wish I lived clo a little closer. I can't come and see her like I used to, but when they call me, I try to be here. And uh, oh, it, it's just really a wonderful place. And and 
I love all the all the clients that are here too. I walk in the door and they say, "Hi, Bert. Hi, Bert. We're so glad to see you." And that that's what I like. I know too, this is the place to come if you're ever sad and down because you'll get hugs and kisses isn't and that, isn't that hellos the truth? and whether and, they know you or not, yeah. they are just wonderful. That, you're that's right. Tr that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you yeah. so much well, for being with welcome. us again. Yes, I'm, I'm glad. And Sue, so, yeah. it was great to see you today. <laughs> so. Caring community we've talked about already, and we're going to go see one of your clients who has a job at Pizza Hut, Bella Dietrich, and Pizza Hut has really embraced her and helped her, haven't they? They really have, um, and they employ more than one of our individuals in service, so um, Bella is uh, one example of, of uh, the outreach that they do here in Ellsworth. Um, again, her attitude about work is remarkable. She loves her job. She is excited about her boss. She comes back and brags about the relationship that she has with her employer, and she's thrilled to go to work every time that she goes. She comes back energized, and she'll say, do you know what I get to do today? Um, which I keep thinking, I need that. I need that attitude about my work as well. She's a great, uh, great employee. There's so many things we can learn from these clients. Absolutely. Um, they, their commitment, their desire for a job, um, their willingness to learn new things, uh, to risk, um, to understand that they might not get it perfect the first time, but they'll try, try again. Those are all things that we all need to take to heart and uh, use in our everyday. Being in the moment. Absolutely. We're here now with Daniel Lobdell. And welcome, Daniel. Thank you. And Daniel is one of the most active Mosaic clients that I know. He is everywhere around town. He's helped me at the chamber, and he's also the president of their Action Club, which is a um, subsidiary of the Kiwanis Club. And so, welcome, Daniel. Thank you for having me. And you want to tell us a little about your Mosaic story? I came here in Mosaic uh, back in the 2000s, um, you know, from being locked up. Uh, it was it, since I've been here. It's been wonderful. I mean, I've never asked for anything better than what I have now. Uh, you know, I've got you know everything that I need. You know, um, everything that I possibly imagine. You know, so I mean, it's it's wonderful here. Now you have a full time job. I got a part time job, job. at uh, Pizza Hut. And what do you do there? I help do the bread, uh, put them in pans and stuff, and I also do the wings, cook them, and I also am in the dishwasher. Okay, and then what are some of the other things you do around town? Uh, I also deliver popcorn around town every Friday afternoon, or every Friday morning. I go to uh, Gambino's, deliver there to, if you, uh, to Reliant, I delivered to Season. To Sykes Drug Store, I deliver there. And then there's a lady that works there at the Antique Mall that I always deliver a bag of popcorn to her. And then I bring popcorn over here to Central Office and deliver to the ladies. Because Mosaic supplies popcorn for the whole town every Friday, don't they? Yes. <laughs> and believe me, everybody knows. It's where the school kids go right after school. Um, and now you're also the president of the Action Club. Explain to us what the Action Club is. It, it's just like the Kiwanis Club, but we're trying to give back to the community. You know, since, since the community gives so much to Mosaic and to the Action Club, we try to give back to the, Mo, uh, to the community. Um, so, and this, not this Friday, but the next Friday, we are having a spaghetti supper, February 20th from five to seven, and it's to help raise money to go to a convention, I think in Illinois or something. Mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully, you know, people can come out and have a wonderful time. You know, it's gonna be right here at Day Signed. Um, and this is just one of the activities that you do over the years Yes. for this. We've also held a state conference, which was for Action Club down here for the first time last year. Uh, which was wonderful. I mean, we had a really good turnout. We've had them from Pratt, uh, Larnard, all over Kansas. Um, 
you know, all uh, action club members and stuff. I think we had a total of right around 150 people come in. Fantastic. So. So what has this meant to you to be able to be part of Mosaic? It's hard to describe. Um, being a part of Mosaic, you know, it's like I said, you know, it's helped me in every which way possible. Um, I wish I could do more, you know, to get back to Mosaic. Uh, because they give so much and ask for so little, you know. Um, you know, I mean, they're, they're very helpful to us. The staff is wonderful to us. You know, if we got a problem, you know, we can go to the staff and say, hey, you know, can you help us out with a problem or, you know, can you help us do something? And the staff is always willing to help us. You know, I mean, it, it doesn't matter how small the problem is, they are willing to help us at all costs. And I, can be, I cannot be more blessed than what I am. Can you imagine what life would have been like if you didn't find Mosaic? No, I don't. I can only imagine, you know, that it would be a lot worse than what I've been through. You know, I don't know, I'd be getting in a lot of trouble. Um, you know, I mean, I've had wonderful, wonderful many years here, and I'm truly blessed. And we look forward to having you many years. We're, we're blessed to have you too, Daniel. Well, thank you. So, thank you so much for being here today. One of the main themes through this whole thing this morning has been how supportive Ellsworth is of Mosaic. And this year you did something that was pretty brave and we won an award for that. Well, it wasn't brave on my part. I, I have felt since I came to Mosaic that part of the reason it works so well in Ellsworth is because of the community and the people who um, are so accepting of our work and the individuals we serve. And so we just submitted uh, Ellsworth as the most inclusive community in Kansas to the Interhab organization, which is an advocacy organization for all of the providers. Uh, for folks with, indiv uh, with uh, developmental disabilities in the state. And Ellsworth won, as it should, um, because it is so inclusive. Everybody just accepts that we're part of the everyday life of the goings on in this community. And while um, we like to think we're special, uh, we like to think that everybody that lives in Ellsworth is special. And so they give us that sense and we hope we give um, Ellsworth that sense in return. So that's part of the beauty of the award and the key to inclusion is acceptance and, and I think being accepted for who you are is just a major part of our mission. As and well. our award was this amazing art piece which was actually made by clients in the Flint Hills. There was a, a group of six ladies right. who put it together and when we went to the award we got to meet these amazing ladies and it's a gorgeous piece and it will be traveling around the city to all the different businesses that um, employ Mosaic clients. So it's a great thing. We really need to be proud of Ellsworth because it is a wonderful place to live and it is a great, great place to have Mosaic and we're so glad to have you. Well, we're glad to be here. Thank you so much. So this has been Did You Know? I'm Carol Kratzer with the Ellsworth Canopolis Area Chamber of Commerce. And if you have any questions, you can give us a call at 472-4071. Or you can always go to GoEllsworth.com. Go Ellsworth, brought to you by these proud community sponsors. Anita Hoffines. Dr. Mark Herzog.